Hello, trading has closed on November 28th, 2016. We had a few calls over the weekend. The main one was I was looking for a gap down and I felt the most common occurrence would be that we would promptly undercut this low because uh, futures are more reflective of true prices at the open. You have to look at futures to see if that works. And uh, the low we had was 2204.75, and we promptly traded at um, 2204.50. So that didn't work by much, but it did work. <clears throat> During the day, MJT said ultimately lower prices would print, which they did. When it gave that signal, looked for this line to be hit again, and it was. Um, this was an optional target it was the um the call was made around here and that one worked well usually when you have a hole in the wall gap the gap fills pretty quickly you overtake the high of the wall and that's resistance but we had another call over the weekend that there was a good chance this was the high of the move and uh the main thing was that we had bar 13 of a combo sell signal from Tom DeMarc. Today's action showed a reversal right at the 1 by 2 GAN fan line from this low, and it's still compatible with this being a high. I always like to learn things from other traders. A friend of mine, Kevin Murphy showed me this one. You take the golden ratio, which is this. You take some liberties with the decimal point and add one. You raise it um, to the eighth power. And then you multiply it by the 2009 low. And you get uh, the all-time high to the penny. Kind of an amazing thing. If that holds, that's just some more evidence. Although how often something like that happens, it's hard to know. As far as tomorrow's trade is concerned, one, one day after hitting a new high, we couldn't hold on to multiple highs and couldn't even hold on to this low unless that's reversed immediately by gapping up and taking out today's high it's a negative formation i expect lower prices to print and that's today's call